Hey everybody, it's me again. Uh, this is Coach Tara from CoachTara.com. And have you ever wondered what on earth is a really good angle for your face when you're making video? Now whether you're doing a Facebook Live or whether you're using your cell phone out there in the world and making a video of the only live. I, I Fly, flu in mouth. You see it? Oh my God, it's disgusting. Oh my God. Worse has happened. Okay, so that's what the beauty of live is, right? I get to... I get to have crazy things happen right in front of you, and I can't do anything about it. Okay. I see this mistake an awful lot, and I don't know if you're making this mistake. However, because I'm doing a lot of live video here, I am looking at that. I'm noticing it for myself. So what I wanted to talk about is what the proper angle your face should be to a camera when you're making a video. Now, I see a lot of people doing this and, doing, and talking like this, and yeah, you... You might look better like this, maybe, but the the psychological impression that it's leaving on the person that's watching your video is not beneficial to you, especially if you're using video for marketing. Okay, so you wanna you wanna be real careful of that. Don't make video like this. I know I look like I don't have a double chin here, and maybe my lighting is really beautiful, but the psychological impact is not what you want if you're using video for marketing, okay? It's not what you want. This is kind of, um, this is what I call the porn star look. Okay, do the math, figure it out. Not good, okay? And then you've got this. Most people that use laptops to make video and they're using their cameras on top of their laptop, kind of this angle right here, or they're using the laptop cam. If you can't hear it, turn it up, it's my phone. You just got to turn it up. Um, when, you, when you're doing that and you're, you're on a laptop and you're looking at the camera and you're making a video, this is what's going on. Not an attractive point of view. Even if you are so beautiful, even if you are the perfect weight, even if you're all this stuff and your makeup is perfect and your hair is done, you can still see your boogers. Okay, cool. You can still see your boogers. It's not, it doesn't matter anything. This is not an attractive thing. Now, psychologically, what this is saying is, I'm dominating you. You must listen to me. I am smarter. I know more. I'm betterer. Addison, go lie down. And that is not the kind of relationship you want to have with your, with your customers or with your prospects using video especially for marketing okay so we have porn star hi i just want to show you this and then you have dominator neither one of them are good what you want for a perfect place is slightly above your eye line you want your camera to be at like a 45 degree angle to your eyes you do not have the dominating effect you do not have the porn star effect. You have, like you're talking to someone. It's natural for you to be looking up just a little bit. It also keeps helps you stay in a better mood when you're doing that, when you're looking slightly up. There's, there's like hormones that are released in your brain. And your prospect and your customers and the people that consume your video content aren't going to feel like you're trying to seduce them or you're trying to dominate them. These are psychological triggers. They might not know what it is. But if they're not buying from your video, that's very possible. That's very possible. So even though you may have been doing it wrong all along, or even though you can't figure out what you, you got a laptop down here and what, how you're supposed to get the camera up there. Well, what you do is you prop your laptop up on some sort of a platform so that your camera is in this angle. You want to be looking up towards the camera lens. I don't know where these flies are coming from. Keith, you missed it. A fly flew in my mouth while I was live. Yeah. Good, I'm glad. Because this, Michael, this uh, phone does everything but have a good microphone. It just, you got to turn it all the way up loud. And if you're on a laptop, you won't be able to hear me very good. So, I hope everybody got that. I'm going to recap that real quick. I don't know what the flies are doing in here. <laughs> the recap is, what is the psychological triggers that you are implementing using your camera angle to your face? This is the porn star angle. Don't use it, not if you're using video marketing for your business.
this you may look good like this but this is giving a wrong signal and you will disenfranchise certain viewers and they might not know why and when you're on the laptop and you're too low like this it's just unattractive first of all I don't care how pretty you are second of all it gives you a dominating appearance and you don't want to be dominating your target market you don't want to be dominating the people that watch your videos you want to be engaging with them so you want a 45 degree angle from the camera to your eyes so you're kind of looking up at it a little bit your face is in a good light and you are looking like you're talking to them as peers and you're not looking like you're trying to seduce them or trying to dominate them these are psychological triggers they might not know what it is but their mind is picking up on it and it's just not what you want so with that being said, I'm out of here. I want to thank you so much for watching. I love you all very, very much. Go on over to my blog. Check it out. I got lots of good stuff over there. You get to know me a little bit better. And uh, that's CoachTara.com. I want to see you later. Thank you very much. Bye.